Hey everybody, um, I'm Chris and I'm uh, not a professional uh, makeup artist or costumer or anything, but um, I thought I would make some videos of how I apply my makeup for cer certain costumes and this one is for my pink Twi'lek uh, and I just kind of wanted to show how I do this, but it's not necessarily the best way, it's just the way that I do it. Um, and I'll just kind of walk you through what I do, and if that helps you with your costume, that's great. Um, if not, then yay, fun video. Um, so as you can see, I already started with my neck area because uh, that I have to do without my shirt on. I'm not going to do that on this video. So um, I just basically only go down just a little bit below where my t-shirt's going to hit. This isn't the shirt that I'm wearing, but it's about the same neckline. Um, and uh, I sprayed around to the back a little bit. So basically I've just got my face to do left. Um, and what I did was I sprayed it with the paint and then after it dried, I set it with some setting powder and I'll go through that process in a bit. Um, the paint that I'm using is the um, Endura um, alcohol-based paint um, made by um, European Body Art is the brand. Um, that means that this holds up to sweating and moisture and everything so it's great for longer wears. Um, you do have to use a special remover um, to get rid of the paint on your skin um, but it does last a lot longer. I really like it. Um, and then for application you can use a uh, regular airbrush but I didn't really want to invest in one if I wasn't going to use it for anything else so I use uh, the spray system that you can get at Home Depot and it's the Prevail Prevel, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, basically, it turns any paint that you put in here into an aerosol. So um, it comes with a little container, and I just put the paint in here and then attach the sprayer on top, and then it turns it into basically spray paint. Um, but you do have to replace little sprayer things because um, they don't last terribly long, but they're pretty cheap. They're like under $2 a piece. So if you're not doing this a lot and you don't want to invest in an airbrush, I think it's a really good option. I've had really good luck with it, and they travel well, especially if you're going to conventions out of state, so I think it's pretty cool. Um, so I use that, and then um, I also use that in um, pairing with uh, the Maron, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, um, the water-based cakes. And so I have a pink that kind of matches. It's a little bit darker, but it's pretty close. I use that for the areas that are hard to spray, like around the eyes and around the mouth and nose and everything. Um, because you don't want to get the spray in your eyes at all. It's painful. Um, so that said, if you wear contacts like I do, um, don't put them in until after you're done putting the makeup on. I know that sounds kind of counterintuitive, but you don't want to get any stuff in your contacts or in your eyes. It's, it, yeah, it's not good. Um, so what I'm going to start with is I basically just, I have my hair pushed back in the hairnet. Um, I washed my face with regular soap. I didn't put any moisturizer on or anything like that um, because I feel like that kind of gets in the way with the adhesion of the paint. So um, I'm going to start with just putting on the water-based paint around the areas that are hard to spray. So I'm going to just get a little, actually just a paintbrush from Michaels, just a little uh, plain one. And I'm going to turn on my faucet here in the bathroom, so if you hear water, that's what that is. Because you do need to add water to the cake to get it to activate. So I basically just get water on the paintbrush and then just kind of, I don't know if you can kind of see that, start kind of working it into the cake to get a, um, some of the paint started. And you want it to be, I'd say like the consistency of acrylic paint. Um, you don't want it to be too thin, but you don't want it so thick that it's kind of globby. Um, and then I just start putting it where it's kind of hard to spray. So I'm going to start with under my eyes. And then to kind of blend it out, I use a little foam wedge. Um, this isn't really crucial, but kind of helps because I am going to be spraying on top of this. And you don't have to get so close to your eyelids because I will be going in with some eyeshadow afterwards to fill in. So you just get as close as you can. 
and I'm sorry if I'm if I sound funny I'm battling a cold so I sound great and also because I'm gonna be using the eyeshadow I'm not gonna go over my eyelid too much because I'm gonna fill in with either matching eyeshadow or just regular makeup because I'm gonna be doing fun stuff with that just kind of blend that in and some Twi'leks don't have eyebrows like they're I guess in, in canon they don't actually have body hair except for eyelashes um, but I leave my eyebrows because I look really weird without them um, and they apparently draw them on in canon like that's a thing that they do I, I don't know it's Star Wars don't don't ask me um, but I'm just gonna paint over them because I'm eventually gonna use an eyebrow pencil to kind of draw them back in so you're basically doing like raccoon makeup I guess Looking a little bit like a trash panda. <laughs> this is very exciting. I'm going to add a little bit more water to my brush and activate some more paint. Then I'm going to do around my nose, because um, that, you don't want to spray up your nose. Uh, you'll be blowing your nose and finding paint come out, and that's really creepy. But you don't have to go too far in, especially if you've got a color that sort of blends into your skin tone. That's the nice thing about the pink is that it just, if anything, it just makes my nose look a little red, which it probably already is from having a cold. Plus, if somebody's looking up your nose, you're way too close. Uh, let's see, where else do I want to put some paint? Uh, I might do a little bit more on my forehead. That's one nice thing about when you're doing Twi'lek makeup is that the Leku cover up most of your forehead, so you don't have to go too far up with the paint. Um, so that's kind of nice. And again, this doesn't, it's not going to look perfect, but you're going to kind of fill in later, so it's not, you, know, you don't have to worry too much about it. And then I forgot one step, so I have to go get something. But um, the when you're spraying, and you're spraying around your mouth, um, the paint really does stick to, like, your, your lips, and it's hard to take off. So what I do is I put on... Um, like a lip balm or put some Vaseline on just enough to kind of like mask the lips because I'm eventually going to put lipstick on. Um, but that helps so that you're not trying to like peel off paint off your lips and it's probably not good for them anyway. So one second, I will go get some Vaseline. All right. Um, I actually just got some Carmex because that's what I've been using. You don't need much, just enough to kind of get the majority of your lips covered. You don't want to go outside your lips because then you aren't going to get the skin around your lips with the paint. They'll just come right off. So that's that. And then I also had to blow my nose, so now I have to kind of touch up my paint. I have a feeling I'm going to be doing this all night, so might as well just bring this with me. Or just be a tweet like that has a weird uh, pale nose. Uh, all right, it's not perfect, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. All right, so um, now that I'm done with the water-based paint for now, I'm gonna get to spraying the alcohol-based paint. So that's the fun thing. So uh, I would recommend if you can um, work in an area that you can ventilate. Um, I don't have a fan in my bathroom for some reason they didn't build it with one um, so I just leave the door open and try to not 
do too much at once. So a couple things that I like to do is I always have paper towel on hand. Um, I kind of use this to mask areas I don't really want to hit. So like my eyes, I'll kind of do it in patches. It's kind of weird. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's a weird thing because you don't want to get this in your eyes. Um, you don't want it in your nose. You don't want it anything like that. It's, it stings and it smells bad and you know, all that fun stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with covering my eyes. <laughs> this is, I know it looks so weird and kind of spray around my face. And I'm going to try, I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see. Um, oh yeah. You want to hold your breath. <laughs> don't breathe in while doing this. smelly. Looks okay. I have kind of a glob happening here. What's happening here? Um, so another thing too is you don't have to worry about getting your ears because, well I guess if you're doing a male Twi'lek costume they do have their ears showing so I'll, I don't know I can't help you with the ear part um, my everything here is covered with my head wrap and my like who and everything so I'm really only just getting this area and then of course my neck that I've already done so we're gonna keep going I'm trying to place this so that I'm not getting my eye And it's best to kind of, even though it may not cover the first time you're spraying, to wait a little bit before you layer on another coat because you don't want it to get too tacky. Whew. to do for cosplay huh as you can kind of see maybe um, you can see that my water-based paint is a little bit of a different hue than my spray paint but you really aren't gonna be able to tell once I'm done with everything and if somebody says anything you know whatever uh, let's see where if I need to do any more on my face on this side maybe a little bit up here I'm trying to avoid the eye Now we're going to do this side. Another thing too, um, by covering your eyes with this, you're less likely to squint and you don't want to spray when you're squinting because you're going to have eye wrinkles and the same with like, you don't want to be grimacing or anything, because anytime you've got your face kind of wrinkled up, it's going to just spray funny. So try to keep a straight face, which I know is kind of hard to do when you're painting yourself a bright color. Oh, what's happening with these kind of... The sprayer must be doing something, but we're getting there. All right. This stuff dries pretty fast because it is alcohol based, so I'm just fanning to kind of help it along. Times. All right, let's see. I need some more on this side. Ugh. 
Whew. It's weird because the paint smells like a mix of strawberry and rubbing alcohol. So you just kind of smell like a, I don't know, a shot from a bar. Like a raspberry kamikaze or something. I don't know. Okay, looking for areas that I might have missed. I might do a little bit of my forehead. So I'm going to do, let's do this. And then do a little bit of this. Did I even get anything? I'll try that again. Alright, I think that kind of got some on there. Let's see where else. Oh, yeah, I gotta do. Jawline. Sorry, I'm looking at the mirror that this is actually attached to, so that's why I'm sort of all over the place. Um, alright. Looking pretty good. Might just do a little bit. Hmm. I think I got my nose all right. Oh, on this side I didn't. <sighs> Telling you, man. All right. You do on this side too. All right. Mm. Okay, so you can kind of see now, like what I'm talking about with the, the Vaseline kind of keeping this from sticking. Now I can probably wipe that off when I'm done with all this. Um, and I'll be good. Um, all right, let's see if I got everything. Uh, I feel like I don't know how to do this without getting it all over. I'm just going to go in for it. Opening my eyes, not opening my eyes. All right. Okay, so I think we're gonna consider this pretty good. Um, another thing too is, if you have any sort of like peach fuzz on your face, this paint really accentuates that. So if you want to, you can shave that off, or just be fuzzy. Um. All right, put my paint over there. All right, so now that this is all drying, um, actually I might do my forehead a little bit more now that I think about it. One second. Why isn't it? Eh. All right, that's a little bit better. Um, once this dries, I am going to use my setting powder. So you don't have to use anything super expensive. I mean, you can if you want to. Um, I'm just using e.l.f. Uh, uh, Perfect Finish HD Powder in clear. So you definitely want to use non-colored non um, setting powder because you don't want to change your hue of your colors here. Um, so I just get some on my brush and then I just sort of start applying it and then you blend it in real good. You don't have to use setting powder. I prefer it because it kind of gets rid of the stickiness. Um, and it kind of gives it a good base for your other powders that you're going to be using. That's why I'm saying like don't use expensive stuff because it's not like you're setting normal makeup. You're setting paint. So don't spend a ton of money on this stuff. Drugstore brand makeup is fantastic for costumes. Again, you don't have to worry too much about 
too far up on your forehead because it's going to be covered with noodles. So you don't have to worry too much about that. So yeah, that's that. And then I will probably remove my stuff here. And that comes off pretty easily. Looks really weird now, but I'm gonna be wearing lipstick, so I'm just gonna look weird for a second. All right, uh, now we're gonna go on to the mask or the, not the mascara, the eyeshadow part for contouring and just regular makeup. All right, so now we're gonna fill in the areas that I didn't get with paint. Um, and I'm going to use, for a base, uh, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And it's basically just like a, a crayon type of thing. Um, but it's really great if you use white because it makes colors pop really well. So I'm going to apply this everywhere that I don't have any paint. It's going to be almost like a base coat. So I just apply it and then kind of blend it out with my finger. Doesn't have to be too perfect because it's just going to be filled in with eyeshadow anyway. And then do a little bit around here. And again, like some of this, it's not too big of a deal because it's going to be, I'm going to be wearing like eyeliner and stuff like that. So it's going to be covered up. Oh, I like didn't paint it all up here. Okay. Well, let's fill in. And I really like NYX products because they're pretty inexpensive and they kind of do fun colors and stuff, so it's great for costumes. Especially if you're doing Twi'lek makeup because Twi'leks are, as you probably know, come in all different colors. And sometimes it's hard to find good colors to contour with. So that's that. Let's see, put the lid on that. And then the key is to find a matching eyeshadow um, to your paint. And it took me a little bit of trial and error, but I found that the there's a, a particular shade of pink in the BH um, take me back to Brazil palette, which is a really cool palette. It's got lots of fun colors in it, um, but there's some pinks in here that are very close to my paint color. So then what I'm going to do is just sort of dab instead of brush on because you've now made the sticky base with the white and brushing it doesn't always work. So you just sort of tap it in there. And again, this doesn't need to be perfect, especially up here, because I am going to be putting regular eyeshadow on. And it's going to probably cover up most of this anyway. So mostly just to blend in the paint. Oh, I also have a spot here I kind of missed. That's okay. We'll get in there. We'll fix it. I also don't know if you can hear them, but my one of my cats is locked downstairs because... He likes to help, and he's making a big ruckus right now, because he's not here. Hopefully you can't hear him. Hopefully neighbors can't hear him, because they'll think I'm torturing the poor guy. So I kind of went in with a lighter pink, and now I'm kind of going with a darker pink to kind of blend them. And again, they're not going to be a perfect match. It's really hard to find an ideal match for matching paint. It's just kind of par for the course. But again, it's all going to be kind of blended in with other makeup, so it's not that big of a deal. The only problem is when you've got a palette that has one really good color in it, you don't have to buy the whole palette again just to get it, so. 
I'm not looking forward to having to do that with this one. But luckily I don't have to use too much when I'm doing this. I know it doesn't look good right now. It's gonna look better. Okay, so now that I've kind of got that filled in, my next thing is gonna be contouring. So the importance of contouring when you do Twi'lek makeup is that adding the face paint takes away all of your definition in your face. So you just kind of look like one dimensional and flat. So um, kind of want to add in your features. So I found, I'm full of eyeshadow right now. Um, there's this palette, the, um, the Festival palette by Juvia's Place, which is a pretty inexpensive brand that they sell at, um, Ulta. Um, there's a color on here, uh, Eerie, Eerie G, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, which is a, just a slightly darker pink than what I'm, I've got on my face right now. So I'm going to use just a smaller kind of uh, contour, it's a contouring brush, so there you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my cheekbones and just sort of put them back on my face. And it doesn't have to be, you don't have to do something very dramatic because it's amazing how much just subtlety will kind of give you your features right back. I mean, you can go really dramatic if you want to. No one's stopping you. Live your best life. <laughs> I don't do a ton of contouring because I don't really feel like I need to. But this is your opportunity to give yourself features you didn't have before if you want to. So I do the cheekbones and then I do just under the jawline. Because that, I feel like, is where your face kind of blends into your neck and you're just sort of like this colorful blob. And this helps bring it right back to being normal. And again, you don't have to be perfect with this. It's just enough so that you can see that I actually have a chin and I have a neck and they're not one long thing. You can also do things like a little bit here if you want to kind of make your chin stand out a little bit more. I like my my butt chin, so I'm going to put my butt chin back in. Um, and then you can do like, you know, wherever you want. If you want to do like, you can do a little bit like sides of your nose to kind of make that look a little bit more three-dimensional. And just kind of do that. So then... If you're going to do a shadow, you definitely want to do um, a lighter color to highlight. So there's another color in here that's kind of this iridescent um, kind of white sort of color called Uli. And I'm just going to use a little bit of that to add some highlight. And again, subtle. Especially if you've got like a shimmery one, it really makes things pop. Alright, so I think I've kind of put my face in. So now we're going to go to the fun part, which is just playing around with eyeshadows. Alright, so I did take a moment to put my contacts in. so. Um, you could have done that a little bit earlier in the process. Anytime after you're done painting, you can put them, you know, put them in if you need to. Um, I dripped a little bit of saline stuff, so I had to patch up a little bit. It's fine. Um, now we're going to go to the eyeshadow part. So this is where you can really play. Um, you can do whatever you want. You're a Twi'lek. You can do fun stuff. You can do dramatic. You can do scary, whatever you want to do. So... I'm going to use, for now, I might dig into some other palettes, I'm going to use a couple 
palettes that I really like. Um, they're both from ColourPop. One is the the uh, Ooh La La palette, and the other one is the It's My Pleasure palette. Um, ColourPop is awesome because they're inexpensive, but they have tons of fun colors, and um, I like these little monochromatic kits that they have. Um, I've got pretty much every one that they've released because I have a problem with makeup, apparently. So, uh, I'm going to just sort of play. So I think I'm going to start with kind of a, maybe I'll do sort of a shimmery purple base here. So, uh, the one that I'm going to try using is called Do or Doe. Um, I'm just going to see how that looks. A little bit lighter than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. It's a, probably a good start. Kind of blend everything in. I do different stuff with my Twi'lek makeup. I don't always keep it the same. <laughs> For something like this, it's, you know, I usually stick to pinks and purples and reds because they look best with the the pink. Um, but that's the fun part about this is that you're playing with a different color palette than you are normally. So I'm just sort of using just a basic shadow brush and just playing it mostly like most of the lid. It's going to kind of be that color that blends the, the darker purple with the pink. Because I'm going to do some darker purple in here. So, that's what I'm doing. And one thing I will also say is that if you do your makeup normally, you'll notice that your actual skin reacts differently to makeup than Twi'lek makeup does. Because Twi'lek makeup, you've just put something on your face that isn't, it doesn't have the right texture. It's kind of, I don't know how to describe it, it feels a little bit rough. Um, so the blending is a little bit more difficult because it kind of just it's like more of a hard line that's kind of hard to avoid that. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, and now I'm going to do, let's see, a giant thing of brushes here and I'm trying to figure out which one to get. I'm going to use, um, shouldn't be that hard, but I'm making it difficult apparently. I'm going to use this guy. Seems like a good brush. Another just basic eyeshadow brush. I'm going to go in with this color called Chiclet, and it's a dark, kind of darkish metallic purple. And I'm going to do some shadow here in the crease. And again, the nice thing about putting like an eyeshadow color down first is that you have a little bit more softness to work with other than the, the you know aside from the roughness of the paint so it kind of helps blend a little bit better it's just sort of playing with that and again the thing that's really fun about this is that there's no right or wrong way to do your makeup I mean that applies for normal day-to-day -day makeup too I mean just do what brings you joy I don't know why I always go for like smoky eye even if I'm using purple. <laughs> uh, smoky eye twee look. It's fine. Okay. So I've kind of got that. I want to do something on the lid closer to my lid line. I'm going to see how this, there's a color here in the, the uh, Ooh La La palette here that is I'm going to see how that looks. Um, let me get this guy. It's called Caddy. It's kind of a raspberry color, so we're going to see how that looks. Ooh, I kind of like that. Okay. Cool. We're going to do that then. I 
like that most makeup tutorials are like, oh, I know exactly what I'm doing, and I'm like, let's just play. I don't know what I'm doing. No, I know what I'm doing, kind of, sort of. That's kind of fun. So now I'm gonna do kind of a highlight around my brow area and kind of in here. And I have a few different options for that. There is one in the Ooh La La palette that is called Tickled, that looks like kind of a foil pinkish peach. So we're gonna see how that looks. It may look like crap, who knows? Oh, no, I kind of like that. I might go in with some more glitz though. I'm actually doing my makeup for a Star Wars Holiday Special. So I'm doing kind of a festive Twi'lek. Um, so I might add a little bit more sparkle than I normally do just because this seems like the way to be festive is put some glitter on it. So what I'll probably do then is follow up with, let's see if I can find it. Um, all right, let's see how this looks. This is the um, Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Transformer. Uh, what color is this one? Aquamarine. I'm going to use that. That's real sparkly. Yes. Okay. Yep. That's what they wanted. I don't really do much with highlighters usually because I just look like a little kid who's fallen into a vat of glitter, which I guess works sometimes, but I'm okay with this. I might actually use some for the highlight on my cheeks too. It's kind of a fun thing. I might add glitter to my eyelids too. I mean, why stop with this amount of glitz when you can go overboard, right? So let's see here. Let's add a little bit. See if that works. And, uh, I don't know if you can really tell, but we're going with it. We're doing it. All right. So there's that. I think I'm going to use some glitter, so I'm going to see what I've got here. I do have, I just got this, I haven't even broken it, broken into it yet, this amazing glitter palette from ColourPop, that's all their uh, pressed glitters, so let's use some pink. They say not to use it in the eye area, so I'd say don't use it in the eye area, don't do as I'm doing, but I'm doing it anyway. So just put all the glitter on it. Is glitter canon in Star Wars? I don't know. I feel like Carrie Fisher would want it that way, so I'm gonna do it. All right. I am probably gonna regret this later when a piece of glitter gets in between my contact and my eye, but uh, in the meantime, I'm okay with this. Does kind of stick to the paint though. Maybe I will regret this. I don't know. We're playing. It's fine. You should see my shirt right now. It is so glittery. Oh, there it is. Kind of a. Oh. I don't know what I've done. What have I done? I don't know. It's fine. All right. So we're super glittery, I guess. That's what we're doing. Um, all right, let's see. So, now, <laughs> there's so much glitter in my paint now. Okay, we are going to do eyeliner. I'm going to get some eyeliner out of my bag here. So, I'm going to use uh, Ico London Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner. Um, I, so I, I've been doing winged eyeliner for, I don't know how many years, I, that's my favorite thing. Uh, a lot of people will ask me how I do it, so you know, I'll get to see how I do it. Um, the, the best thing are these 
like the felt tip pen type eyeliners because they're the best between like a brushed brushed on liquid and a crayon like it's just it's pretty easy to kind of get used to using it, it does take practice so uh just practice is all I can tell you um so I usually start by and I hope you can see this uh, going by the inner eye a little bit and kind of getting close to the lash line and kind of setting that part first. And it doesn't look perfect now, it will look better. I also have chunks of glitter that I'm dealing with, so there's that. I hope you can see this. So as you can see, you can get really fine lines with these, which is really cool. Alright, so I kind of have started that. So then, what I want to do is establish the wing. So I'm going to just sort of start where I want the wing to be. I'm going to go kind of dramatic with this makeup. So I'm going to just sort of go at an angle in until I reach the corner of my eye. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then I kind of see that they're matched up a little bit. And that's kind of, it's almost like you're drawing an outline. You're just, you're starting your end point and start point. And now you kind of fill in by making the line get larger a little bit. And then you sort of drag it across till you meet that first, oh wow, I just got black on my face. You can see how I will fix my makeup in a second. It's a birthmark. Oh, oh dear. Well, we'll fix that in a second. Um, you're basically connecting your lines. And so that's where you can kind of start defining how thick you want it to be. sort of fill in from there and then you can get close to your lash line all right and then do the same for the other side So now you kind of fill in and like if it's a little bit bigger on one side than the other you kind of fill in. All right, it's kind of hard to tell because I've got pink on my eyelashes so I don't know if I got close to my waterline or not, but we'll see. Okay, so I think I got pretty close there. I am going to try to take care of my smudge that I just did. Let's see if there's a good way to do this without taking off all of my makeup. Let's see. Oh, that made that worse. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. <laughs> Doesn't help that like this eyeliner is pretty much waterproof too. Damn, you're stubborn. Okay, 
see it. It's hard to tell. Okay, well, we're going to try to fill in with some of the paint here. <sighs> Sorry about the sniffles. We're going to try to figure this out. That was rude. My phone just decided I didn't have enough space for a video, so I had to go <laughs> empty out my phone. So, uh, I don't know where it cut off. I was putting on paint on my face. And I think, I think I covered my spot a little bit. I might do a little, a little bit of my alcohol-based paint on top, too. No, I actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I feel like that's going to just backfire. I already made enough bad decisions. So I think that's good enough. I might do some setting powder. Get that going. Yeah, you really can't tell too much, but I think I got the island off of there. Um, all right, so then I'm gonna do a little bit more eyeliner on the lower lashes, but for that I'm gonna do um, a crayon type eyeliner because I want to blend it a little bit more. So if I can get it out here. I know it's here. There we go. So I'm using Avon Glimmer Sticks and Blackest Black. That's one of my go-tos for crayon eyeliners. Um, I'm just going to start in the corner. Kind of work towards the middle, back out here a little bit, and then I'm going to use a smudge brush to kind of blend this in to not be super stark here. And then do the same on the other side. And then I will probably fill in a little bit more with my liquid liner. that. Now I'm going to use the mascara and I use my go-to for most things is uh, Maybelline's Lash Discovery. That's waterproof um, because I like to not have mascara land on my face when my eyes water so I really like this stuff. You can also put on false eyelashes if you feel like that's something you want to do. I don't with my Twi'lek because I'm already wearing a lot of stuff on my face and I kind of just don't want to deal with more. Another thing too is you want to make sure you cover up any of your paint that's landed on your eyelashes too. It's kind of inevitable it's going to happen when you're spraying your face. You might have to put on a little bit more mascara than you would normally. 
어때요? From here, if you want to do like more dramatic mascara, like I've got some that I'll sometimes put on over this that's a little bit more defined or whatever, but this is pretty good. There. And then I can go in and if I've missed any spots with my eyeliner, I can kind of go in and touch up. that. Uh, next is going to be eyebrows. Alright, so for eyebrows, uh, I'm using NYX uh, Micro Brow Pencil in black, and I really like this product. It's a very fine tip uh, brow pencil on one side and then a brush on the other. So it's really good for getting realistic looking brows. Um, I'm just going to go over and kind of recreate the shape of my brows that got covered up by the paint. And I don't know why I chose black to go with pink, but that's what we're doing. So you just sort of... I just sort of use short strokes to kind of almost mimic what eyebrow hair is like. And then fill in when I start seeing kind of some pink patches that are slipping through. And then do the same over here. You don't have to get too perfect because you're going to kind of go in and smudge everything and then kind of fill in again. Um, that's what's nice about the brush on the end of this. So what this does is it kind of kind of brushes through and then it sort of softens the edge of the lines that you've put in there. And then I'll just kind of go through and fill in where things may have gotten a little bit moved around. And again, you don't have to be perfect with this because apparently Twi'leks don't have eyebrows, so if they were going to draw on eyebrows, they might do them a little bit wonky. Who knows? But yeah, basically just enough to give me some features back. So now I've got my eyebrows on, got everything else. All that's left now is a lipstick. Um, again, I play with different colors. So uh, this one, I'm gonna do a sparkly purple. This one's from Too Faced. Um, it's called Pixie Stick, and it was a limited release, so they don't have this all the time, which is sad, because now I have to try to find another tube of this, because I love it. Um, but yeah, just put on your lipstick like normal. If you have a lip liner that matches, then go for it. I don't think I do.
I use a little bit difficult to put on lipstick with the paint. It kind of falls into the cracks a little bit. I do my best. I might look for a purple lip liner. I might like this. Might this make ugh, might make this look a little better. Um, let's see. <sighs> I might have something. That's my liner. I suppose I could work in a pinch. Oh wait. I found something. I don't know if it's gonna match, but this is NYX suede matte lip liner in amethyst. Let's see if I can kind of get that. Oh yeah. That'll do. Normally I would put this on first, but I didn't know I had it, so. Seriously, it doesn't normally take this long to put lipstick on, but for some reason. I am not on my game today, I don't know. That's close enough for now. I'll probably reapply later. But that is pretty much it for makeup. Um, and then from there, you put on your Leku and the rest of your costume. Probably your costume first, then your Leku, but whatever. Um, and then you're done. Uh, for removal, it's basically you use the, it's a spray remover, you spray it on your face. Um, it's a, it's called Unveil, it's a special remover, um, but oil-free makeup remover, like eye makeup remover will work too. Um, but you just basically spray it on your skin, let it sit, kind of reactivate the, like, to get the liquid again, and then, um, I use makeup remover wipes to follow up with that and just take off the bulk of it. And then I hop in the shower and scrub the rest off. So it's a bit of a time-consuming process, but the wor it's worth it because this makeup isn't going to budge all night. So I'm going to be wearing this for several hours and it should be fine. So that is the tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional. This is just how I do my makeup, but I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Until next time.